What are the odds of getting three heads out of three coin tosses? Probability with coins. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kalina, it's all about probability. But this time, exclusively sa probability when it comes to dealing with coins. We're going to bring it back to the basics bago tayo mag-progress sa iba pang, pang mga probability questions para hopefully ma-master niyo talaga siya for your next exam. Whether that be the civil service exam, UPCAT, LIFE, PhilSat, or even yung mga common college entrance tests. Okay? Now, um, just a quick little plug. I am not paid to do this, but this earring right here is from Aretha's Style. Uh, ito ay isang small social enterprise based in Mindanao and uh, we got the opportunity to meet Jal and hear about this project a lot dun sa aming trip sa Marawi. And uh, again, thank you so much Jal for what you're doing and uh, you can follow them sa Instagram Aretha's Style for more. So, uh, hindi ko lang masyadong mapakita uh, kung gano'n ka, in, ka detailed and kaganda yung earrings na. I don't usually wear earrings like this, but this is going to be an exception kasi yung gawa talaga nila is really, really good. So, uh, pattern siya rin sa mga maranao na mga fabric and style. So, it's very Filipino, very stylish, and of course, we're supporting a good cause. So, again, check out their Instagram page or at the style, alright? So, in order for me to explain ito ating lesson na better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so ito yung ating lecture on probability. Ngayon, uh, very basic ito kasi mayroon akong older video on probability pero I try to squeeze in every type of probability problem in that particular video and marami sa inyong naguguluhan. So this time, I want to do it ng a little bit slowly and more detailed. So magsisimula tayo sa something very basic. We're going to talk about probability using coins. So ano ba yung concept ng probability? Let's start with the definition. Ang probability is basically the likelihood of something to happen. Ibig sabihin, ano yung posibilidad, uh, gaano ka posible na mangyari ang isang bagay na gusto mong mangyari. Ang formula niyan is yung desired outcome, ibig sabihin yung gusto mong maging resulta over the total number of possible outcomes. Ibig sabihin, yung gusto mong ma-achieve na resulta over lahat ng posibleng mangyari sa sitwasyon na yun. Okay. Now, what does this mean for us? sa math. Ang ibig sabihin niya when you're dealing with coins is this. Ang coins kasi, ang itsura niya is we have yung heads na tinatawag which is yung ulo ng barya. Okay, yung, may, yung side na may ulo. And then yung tails would be the other end. And you would probably see this sa mga movies or uh, kahit sa mga games, yung like heads or tails. So, uh, nag-flip ng ng coin. Um, dito sa Philippines, we have yung Cara Cruz na tinatawag. Ang Cara is face, ganun din siya. So, ibig sabihin nun heads, yung Cruz would be the other side. So, ito yung dalawang posibilidad. Kapag nag-coin toss ka, ito yung dalawang posibleng lumabas. Okay? So, babalikan natin yung ating question or yung ating definition ng probability which is desired outcome over total number of possible outcomes. Kapag ang tanong is what is the probability of getting heads in a coin toss, Ang tanong niyan would be, ilan yung desired outcome mo? Now, kapag nag, naghagis ka ng barya, again, ang gusto mo lang na lumabas is yung heads. Ilan ba ang heads sa barya? That would be one. Isa lang yung gusto mong mangyari, which is yung head side ang lumabas, over ilan yung total number of possible outcomes. Now, ilan ba ang pwedeng lumabas kapag naghagis ka ng barya? It's either this side, or this side. So, ibig sabihin, 1, 2. Dalawa ang posibilidad. Okay? Dalawa ang total number of possibilities. So, that would be 1 over 2. Or, 50%. Ibig sabihin, kapag naghagis ako ng barya, given na fair yung barya, ha? Hindi yung may daya. Pag naghagis ako ng barya, ibig sabihin nun, meron akong 50% chance or 50-50 chance na ang lalabas ay heads. So, ang probability of getting heads in a coin toss would be 50% or one half. Okay? Now, it gets a little bit more complicated kung ang tanong ay something like this. Sabi, what is the probability of getting three consecutive heads? So, ngayon, hindi na lang isang beses ka maghahagis ng barya, tatlo na ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, ano yung mangyayari dyan? Now, ang 
thing here would be, the concept is, kapag meron kang gustong mangyari, kung gusto mo na mangyari siya ng paulit-ulit, or dumadami yung tinatawag nating events sa isang probability question, lumiliit ng lumiliit yung posibilidad na mangyari siya. Di ba? Kahit sino naman na naglalaro, uh, even if naglaro kayo say ng Game of Life or Monopoly or any dice or roll game kung nung bata kayo, medyo mahirap yung probability na makakuha ka ng sunod-sunod na 6. Parang ganoon din yung concept nito. So, yun yung isosolve natin. Now, sabi dito, what is the probability of getting 3 consecutive heads? Ibig sabihin, tatlong beses ka maghahagis ng barya. Yun yung tinatawag natin na events. Okay? Yung events is basically kung ilang beses kang bubunot, ilang beses ka maghagis ng barya, ilang beses ka mag-throw ng dice, yun yung individual na events na tinatawag. Sa case na to, tatlong beses ka kukuha ng head. So, ibig sabihin tatlo ang iyong events. Now, this is a technique that was taught to me by my high school teacher, si Ma'am Villaluna. Favorite ko talaga yung probability and combination and permutation when I was studying with her sa Quezon City Science High School. So, if she happens to watch this, hi, ma'am. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you so much for everything you taught me. Pero, ang ibig sabihin niya, meron lang akong mga parang seats dito or upuan. Ilalagay ko lang lahat ng probability ng tatlong events na yon. So ibig sabihin noon, sabi nga natin, 'di ba, dalawa ang barya. Ibig sabihin, para makakuha ko ng heads, isang heads. Pag hinagis ko yung unang barya, meron akong 50-50% chance. So that is 1 over 2. Isang head over dalawang probability. Sa pangalawang hagis ko, again, isang barya, ganun pa rin siya. Isa pa rin ang heads over dalawang posibilidad. Ganun din sa pangatlo. Now, anong magiging final answer? Ang gagawin mo ngayon is every event na dinadagdag mo dun sa mga gusto mo maging outcome, i-multiply mo sila sa isa't isa. This is very important. Okay? So, kung kanina, isang beses mo lang gusto maka-heads, ang answer mo ay 50%. Ngayon na nagdadagdag ka ng events, nagdadagdag ka ng baryang ihahagis, Delete siya ng liliit, i-multiply mo siya by each other. So, the answer here would be 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. That would be 1. Kasi ang pag nag-multiply tayo ng fraction, di ba, dire-diretso lang siya. So, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. Next, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2. That would be 8. So, the answer is 1 over 8. Okay? Or, uh, that would be 12.5%. So again, ganun lang siya. Kapag may dagdag ka na events or sitwasyon, maglalagay ka ng isa pang upuan, isa pang slot for an event, and ilalagay mo lang ang possibility ng bawat sitwasyon. Now, next week, when we discuss yung probability ng dice, this will be a little bit more complicated than this. So you have to really remember, again, ano yung formula? Yung desired outcome over total, tapos each event would be one seat like this. Okay? Pag na-master nyo to, mas madali nyo ma-ease into yung lesson natin next week. Okay? Now, the best way to see that would be through a quick quiz. So, I have three questions right here. I'll give you time to answer them. Be ready with your pen and paper and your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. So first question natin is this. What is the probability of getting two tails in a row? So two tails in a row, dalawang iyong scenario, dalawang events, one, two. First tail is still one over two kasi nga again, ang coin, two sides lang siya. Isang side lang ang tail. So yung one ang nasa taas. Two yung nasa ilalim, yun yung dalawang probability. And then, yung pangalawa, ganun pa rin. Kasi tail pa rin siya. Imumultiply ko lang siya. Kasi dalawa yung events natin. So, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, that is 1 over 4 or 25%. So, may 25% chance ka na pag naghagis ka ng dalawang coins in a row, ang lalabas ay parehong tails. Next, what is the probability of getting 4 consecutive heads? So, ngayon, ilan ng events? We have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 consecutive heads. Again, that would be 1 over 2 for each. Kasi isa lang ang head sa bawat uh, dalawang mukha ng barya. Imumultiply ko lang siya across. So that would be 1 over 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So 1 over 16. Na kung gusto ko siya gawing decimal, all I have to do is to divide 1 uh, by 16. Meron akong discussion on converting... Um, des, uh, fractions into decimals and decimals into fractions. If you haven't seen that yet, ililink ko na lang din dito sa taas. Kasi very important din yon. pag nag-exam kayo minsan, hindi fraction ang binibigay na sagot, decimal. So you have to know kung ano equivalent ng 1 over 16. Now, what I do here, honestly, kung coins lang pinag-uusapan is, kaya nakuha ko na 12.5% yung 1 over 8 kanina is, alam ko kasi na ang 1 fourth ay 25%. So, ang 1 over 8 is just this, divided by 2. So, pag divide ko sa 2, lalabas yung 12.5%. So, ibig sabihin na ang 1 over 16, pwede ko rin siya i-compute na ihahatiin ko lang ito sa dalawa. That would be 6.25%. So, my answer would be 6.25%. Again, you can do that or kung gusto nyo, i-manual ninyo na i-divide yung 1 sa 16. Okay? The answer would still be the same naman. So, it will still be... 6.25%. Okay? Number 3, what is the probability of getting two heads and a tails in succession? So, ibig sabihin nun, ang gusto mo daw mangyari ay 1, 2, dalawang heads, tapos isang tails. Again, all of them naman would still be 1 over 2. So, i-multiply ko lang. That would still be 1 over 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 or 12.5%. So, yun yung ating answer. And I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Laika Maravilla on Instagram. Check out my uh, Instagram stories. Doon ako nagpo-post ng mga quick questions. Meron kasing function na quiz ang Instagram. Uh, pwede nyo i-tap ko na yung sagot ninyo at malalaman nyo agad kung tama kayo o mali. And a lot of you guys are participating there. So, I'm excited about that. And uh, hopefully, pag nag-post ako ng probability question, isa kayo sa mga tama ang sagot. Alright, hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends and ako mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Thanks guys for watching and uh, kung meron pa kayo yung requests, let me know in the comment section then below. I would be happy na ipila yan sa list ng mga videos that I'm making soon. Uh, again, subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga papatating pang lessons. And as we always say this thing na to, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kain yan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.